Hey guys, Beagle, welcome back to the channel. I know the past couple videos have been starting out or ending up down here in this dungeon, but uh, this is gonna be the last one for a little while, I promise. So, back to the boat series. We're about to drop the boat carburetors in this ultrasonic cleaner. We've been seeing a lot of that lately with that and the Corvette. So uh, we're gonna get these carburetors cleaned up, put them back together, put them on the, go the boat, uh, on the, go the boat, hook the gas up and we're gonna see if she runs. That way we can uh, take her out of the lake sometime soon and do something with that. So we'll drop them in there and see what we can do. All right, guys. So since I've been doing so much mechanical stuff lately, I'm going to be doing some voiceovers here while we're working on the stuff. So get ready. We're going to pour some clean juice in and shake them for an hour. All right, guys. So round one is done. Oh, vinegar everywhere. I got my handy dandy basket in it for easy removal this time. All right, so right here we're going to pull out our carburetors out of the flame juice. We're going to look for any small parts we may have missed and uh, set them over there in that big old puddle. All right, so as you can see, we made a mess, but we're not going to worry about that. That's all right. I'm just going to go ahead and put the second one in. Dump all these goodies in there. Here we are putting our carburetors back in. I'm going to add some more flame juice. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of seeing stuff get shaked with some flame juice. But here, here we are. Hopefully it's the last thing for a while. All right, guys, we're back. And we are pulling the second carburetor out of this concoction. So let's get to it. So this should be the last carburetor you guys see get shaken in a bin with some flame juice for a while. So we're just going to set this one over here, find all the small bits again, make sure we can try to put it all back together correctly. All right guys, for the next minute or so, I'm gonna be talking at you while I put these carburetors back together. So right now I'm holding the carburetor cereal bowl. That's basically the bottom of the carburetor that the float sits in. Um, we're actually gonna screw in the needle on the top one just so that the uh, gas can get shot through that. And everything you see, we're gonna be doing one part on one and then the same exact part on the other so that we don't lose anything. But uh, basically, you see we've got the flux capacitor all tightened in. We're going to be adding the Shady Maple Smorkin Board Special to them as well pretty soon here. You can see that if you zoom in, however we don't have zoom in capabilities. Um, next, we are going to be putting in the injector module which actually injects the gas at 4000 PSI. Uh, these are high flow carburetors now, but uh, we should get a lot of power out of this 55 horsepower boat. 55 horses pulling this boat, it's going to be a bad mamma jamma. But uh, basically, my favorite part is coming up right about, wait for it, here. I'm going to be putting in the broken floats. So those floats that you saw earlier, I broke them in half when we were taking the carburetors apart. And we super glued them, that's right. So we're gonna hope that gas doesn't eat that super glue and break them again. But you know, the guy at Advanced Auto Parts told me that these, this super glue would work and hold up against gas. So we'll find out. So basically, now at this point, we're just starting to put all the small pieces back in it. Some of these little needle things that I have no clue what they do, we're just put them back in the spot where they were before so that they can do their job, unbeknownst to me. Um, I'm about to wrap it up pretty soon here and join the two carburetor cereal bowls together so that they can hold in the cereal juice. And then, as you see here, we're about to put the hoods on. That's those little white things. Those hoods keep the, uh, the carburetor scalps from getting sunburnt in the daytime. So, hope you guys learned a lot here, and you'll hear normal Ryan in a second. All right, folks. So we're back outside. Sorry for leaving you in the dungeon for so many videos here, but uh, today we're going to be connecting these carburetors back onto to the motor. We're going to be putting new fuel lines in. Um, also, sorry about this glare and these uh, shadows. It's hard to get a different position on this. So uh, we're going to connect those on and then get the fuel tank all hooked up and see if we can't get it started. So we'll see what we got. Hey, it's me, the mechanical voiceover explaining Ryan again. So right here you see us taking off the carburetor underwear off of the intake. Very important that you take the old underwear off and you put new underwear on so that the carburetors uh, are able to breathe. Now we're going to tighten them back on there. 
making sure that you tighten them to 4,000 uh, foot pounds of torque. Um, it's very important so that you don't leak any of the juices out of there. We're going to attach the connecting rods so that the throttle may decelerate when you put it forward. And we're going to attach the fuel bowl here. Make sure that's nice and tight. Realize that we got the wrong size fuel lines. Oh, we're back. We got a different type of hose. It's not a fuel hose, but it's going to work just to see if it starts and runs to be after it. And we'll probably just leave it on there because that's how we roll. All right, guys. So it's getting a little dark. So we're going to end this for right now. But we'll be right back with you in the morning. Uh, it's really hard to see it. We used some clear tubing because that's what I had. So we ran some line here over to this little fuel bowl, which runs into this thing, which I'm assuming is the fuel pump, which pumps the fuel into this top carburetor and down to this bottom one. So all new fuel lines. Um, we've got our fuel hose. We've got our fuel tank. We're going to put some gas in that. And then tomorrow, when it's brighter and less rainy, we are going to see if this thing starts up for you. We're here again in the daytime. It's nice and sunny. A bit windy, but that's all right. Anyways, we got the battery all wired up, up, ready to go. Got the gas tank somehow hooked up. We haven't primed it yet, so we're going to prime it, and then we'll be right back with you for the, uh, the conclusion. See if this thing starts or not. I jumped out of the boat so I could... Uh, prime this thing and don't get old because when you get old your body just can't handle as much anymore so I twisted my ankle so I'm gonna be sitting for a second but I'll be right back with you I'm gonna show them the uh, my prize so uh, we'll be right back after these technical difficulties this is the moment of truth guys we are going to try to crank this over and see what happens so go ahead and give it a go Mike <laughs> no, I see. I see the fuel coming up that fuel line. Try it again. Let's see what happens. All right, go ahead. I feel like there should be better fuel pressure. I feel like more should be coming out when you prime it. Maybe that's something that's Try again? Let me just give it a tap. Go ahead. Thought that might make it do something. I wonder if it's not getting spark too. Give her a crank. Come on, girl. Yeah. Yeah, it might not be. Well, I don't think it's going to start today. It doesn't sound like it wants to. It sounds like we might need to replace some stuff with the ignition, with the rotor, the distributor rotor and the distributor cap, and maybe this capacitor here. But uh, you will see this thing running because everything is pretty much there to do it. We got the starter going, we got the carburetors all cleaned up, fuel lines all set up. So uh, we're pretty much on the home stretch. Just gotta do one more thing. So without further ado, join us next week with our video of trucking with dogs. We're gonna get a little bit away from the mechanical stuff because the past four videos have been all mechanical stuff. 
So we're going to get back into trucking a little bit, and we're going to be talking about how easy it is to truck with dogs. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later.